In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called Even and Odd Functions, problem type 1. We're given four examples and asked to identify them as either even, odd, or neither. And for the first two, we're doing so based on their graphs. So to identify even symmetry based on a graph, even symmetry would mean that our line was being mirrored across the y-axis. So that everything on the right hand side of the y-axis would be mirrored on the left hand side. And based on this graph we can see that it does not have even symmetry. It's not mirrored across the y-axis. And since we're looking at these visually we can go ahead and look at the second one. This one is also not mirrored across the y-axis. So it also does not have even symmetry. And if we move on to odd symmetry, that would mean that every point on the line is mirrored across the origin. So for example, if there were a point on this line, it would have its mirror across the origin. And we can see that on this left-hand function, we also do not have odd function. So this actually has neither. However, for the right-hand function, mirroring across the origin we can see that if there were a point and we connected it back to the origin and then mirrored it across, that is also on the graph. So this does have odd symmetry. And then for the last two, we don't have the visual for the graph. We only have the function itself. So here we will use the definitions for even and odd, where an even function says that if you replace x with a negative x, the function actually doesn't change. It's still f of x. And this would happen if all of the powers of x were even numbers. So for example, if f of x was x squared, replacing x with a negative x, since the power here is even, negative x squared would be the same as x squared. So in effect, replacing x with a negative x gives us the same original function. Nothing changed. And then for odd functions, when you do that substitution replacing x with negative x, you would get the opposite sign for f of x. So here I'll give the example of f of x equals x cubed. If we replace x with negative x, cubing a negative x would simplify to just a negative x cubed. So we don't get the same function that we started off with. We get the opposite function. And again, this happened because the powers of x were odd. So in g of x, we can see we have x in the function twice. And each time it has an odd power. So this will have odd symmetry. However, in h of x, we have both an odd power and an even power. And since we have both an odd and an even power, this will have neither symmetry.